The Minister. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise today to talk about the impact of the recent heavy rain and flooding that has occurred uh, in parts of northwest Sydney, uh, affecting my electorate of Mitchell and adjoining communities. And I acknowledge a member for Barara and his community here as well. I want to acknowledge the incredible work of people who've worked within our system, our community, who've come together to help out during this severe weather system and an ongoing tragedy. I want to say to the House, tragically yesterday, a young man lost his life due to the rising and fast flowing flood waters in northwest Sydney. This young man was part of Australia's 64,000 strong Pakistani community, a guest in our country. And I want to pass on our sincere condolences from Australia, from our government, from our Prime Minister, from our Parliament to his family and his friends and his entire community. And I want to thank the Pakistani community for reaching out to me in North West Sydney so I can help the family at this time. Uh, you know, first day on a job, um, it, it's a disaster for that family and this young man. So we, we, we pass on our thoughts and condolences to them. Our thoughts are also with the neighbouring communities who have been badly affected and are suffering and impacted by the record rainfall, the one in 50 year flooding and, and the Hawkesbury River of course overflowing. I want to thank uh, David, uh, Daniel McGovern and the Hills SES commander and every single one of the Hills SES volunteers that are out on the ground have been for a number of days now uh, really fighting to stem a very difficult emergency uh, and doing their absolute best against a, a very difficult uh, emergency situation. Um, we've seen the pictures on TV of emergency personnel upturned in boats, putting their lives on the line. They're doing it all the time to protect life and property uh, and selflessly, of course, working to make sure people are safe and fed. I want to thank the Castle Hill RSL for opening their doors as an evacuation centre. I know some people have come. Some people thought it was a bit far, but actually the Castle Hill RSL is well appointed to take people from everywhere. Um, they're very generous. They do it all the time. Fires and floods, they just open up their club uh, and they do a great job looking after people. I know the people there are being well looked after. I want to thank uh, the Hillshire Council, St John Ambulance, Red Cross, Anglicare, the New South Wales Health, the Police Force. Everyone is on the ground uh, doing everything they can at the moment. Uh, working alongside our emergency services workers, states and federal governments working together, uh, and community, of course, um, you know, doing everything in between where the, where the emergency services can't be there. I know where creeks flooded, where sometimes they don't even show up on government maps and uh, communities rallied together to sandbag houses, to protect property. They just came together as a community, protected themselves, uh, and did a great job of doing that as well. Um, we're very fortunate to have these amazing people across our community. We're fortunate to have um, the ADF now on the ground, boots on the ground, uh, choppers in the air. Um, the federal government will be supporting the state government effort. This one in 50 year flood, the cost is not known, the difficulties are not over, the challenges are going to continue. And we're going to be right there to make sure as a community we get through this together. But we do say to everyone, please be safe, please look after each other, don't take risks, this danger is not over.